Hello, hello my friends! I'm back to you, back with a new video. You loved uh, those watercolor Christmas cards and I have a few more ideas to share with you. And since you enjoyed this, since many of you have grabbed the brushes and watercolors, even the cheapest ones as I have here, uh, many of you have done that and you also tried this card, this video tutorial. I thought, you know what, let's do something else. Let's do some other designs, some other ideas that I have for you. Uh, we will watercolor today. So if you're a beginner, I promise you, I really promise you, you will love it. You will enjoy it. You will have uh, a good time with me, I hope. <laughs> and you will gain some confidence that you actually can do something pretty doesn't mean very difficult uh, looking professional yet yeah, doesn't take in a lot of time so let's do let's begin without any further oh sorry without any further ado without any more chatting those who watch me knows that I chat a lot a lot and a lot and too much and now I'm too lazy to go to my sink <laughs> so I'm grabbing water from my spray bottle uh, yeah you should know that I'm lazy <laughs> by now. I am lazy uh, when it comes to certain things, of course. So uh, those are just jars that I'm filling with water, normal water. I don't have any anything to improve my water, <laughs> to improve my painting. Unfortunately, no. I have this simple plastic. I got it for uh, for nearly no cost on eBay from China again. I'm not too sure if it's that good because it seems to be disappearing from my plastic when I'm when I'm adding water and pigment and watercolor in here. But that will do. I don't mind that. I really don't mind that. Now, this set is from eBay again, but you may as well get them from Michael's and um, Hobby Lobby, as far as I remember. Many of you have mentioned to me that there's also a metallic <clears throat> set. I don't have it. Maybe if Rain will be so kind, she will <laughs> post it to me someday from Michael's. So, um, I love this set. Absolutely beautiful pigmentation and very low cost. What a colors and those are from Lidl again I'm gonna use them today I hope we will see what we will use but they were also very nice a uh, nice price for the quality actually and I also grabbed for a change I'm not sure I ever used them on the video uh, those uh, beautiful watercolors those are metallics from Prima we will see if I will use them at all so what do I have here you ask me for cards as well zilliard milliard times so I'll help you I buy cards in bulks like that so you have a card and an envelope together uh, in a pack those particular ones by accident they were purchased in Belgium in a shop called Action so it's not the best quality of all but it's a very good quality it was good price and size wise I use 5 by 5 inches or 6 by 6 it doesn't matter you can use any card bases you have you can make your own but those are coming with envelopes and a basis so I probably never did my own cards maybe before I knew that those exist, <laughs> I was doing my bases. But other than that, no, absolutely not. I don't have time to buy the cardstock, to make the envelope, to measure it properly. This is usually very well made. But okay, enough of chats about that. So I, what else I have? I have watercolor brushes here. But again, this is a mixture of all brands. This is uh, Windsor Newton. This is Soho. Uh, so, you know, grab any watercolor brushes you have. I didn't have much time to look into watercolor brushes. Many of you have suggested how to fix the watercolor brush, actually. The bristles, which is great. And thank you so much for your suggestions. In the comments, there is uh, loads of suggestions. Well, you cannot hold your brush in down there in the jar water all the time. It will destroy your bristles plus someone also mentioned to if if my brush is too dry it will get destroyed when I'm using it so it has to be wet for watercolors and I think it was soap that you suggested to use just on the soap um, and it will fix the hair so I will be t checking that <laughs> Again, if you feel like you wish to give an advice in the comment section about how to care for watercolor brushes, please do, please do. Now, what do I have here? In beforehand, I have, whoa, this is a uh, four minutes, I'm looking, four minutes of chit-chatting, not painting, chit-chatting about the, the um, things that we have here. But I think maybe it's good that some of you will know since many of beginners is actually chancing their 
not arm but hand is it chancing my hand or arm <laughs> you have you have helped me as well in this matter how to say the things properly it doesn't matter anyway um many of you is trying and chancing your arm in the watercolors for the first time so i hope to give you as many advices I, as many infos as i can so you don't have to ask and um so to save your and my time <laughs> of course so i do have two different watercolors you can probably see watercolor papers i bought them one is i bought them here locally one is from rain she sent it to me they both for watercolors they're not the highest quality paper but they good quality paper thickness around 180 200 something like that I do find that it's easier to work on the on the thicker paper the thicker thickness but it's more expensive than as far as I looked maybe I'm wrong maybe you have some good good paper ideas so I pre-cut them in a smaller pieces so it would match size wise to my card as you can see and also one thing I'm still sick well I'm not sick I'm feeling very good but my nose is blocked again is it the pregnancy is it the sickness that it's two weeks uh, chasing me or is it um, or, or what is it I don't know so if you hear me snuffing I'm so sorry uh, I couldn't help myself and not record today because it's two weeks I think I didn't record and everything that you've seen uh, uh, I think in the past two weeks was pre-recorded in case I be sick in case I won't be able to do things so I didn't want you to be left without anything it's six minutes and a half of chats Marta get into your creating anyway so I have two different watercolor papers and I just wonder how they will be um, we have done few already few designs so I'm gonna try to che check today and try today different uh, than than what we've done so far so grab your uh, grab your uh, b -b -b paper grab your mister because I think that misting your um, paint helps well I've seen professionals do, <laughs> do it so I do it as well and we're gonna sprinkle that and I'm gonna sprinkle this as well and again I uh, use what you have around your house if you have your kids watercolors grab them those are kiddos more or less grab them don't think you have to have the <laughs> the most expensive the best quality no I don't think you do have to so I think we could oh and I need some stamping and because I'm recording kind of and I'm changing the, mm, the not direction the when some video should be uploaded I don't know what I was saying and what 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 you've heard but I was saying that I've lost my favorite of all stamp which was this one I rebuy that in my Irish shop cards car card supplies cards and scraps I bought second one different one so I have my favorite of all times stamp uh, so I think it would be nice to first to try out because I'm not I didn't get the platform yet of Tim Holtz I hope I will but my shop doesn't have it at the moment so I'm waiting for it to be back in stock I would love this to be back in stock okay I don't like that it's cut that way that it's leaving me that sh shadow I may try to uh, get rid of that element of rubber or just try to be delicate in, in, in different angle to use but anyway I'm gonna try to be gentle now I need new ink as well I need so many things <laughs> but anyway the, the idea is to basically try to have the Merry Christmas stamp as a title oh how perfect <laughs> how perfect since it's not too bad let's do it one more since I'm holding it and everything is fine I'm gonna do one more and yeah is it wetish wetish enough <laughs> you see my my ink is not finished or anything it's just my ink pad it's just broken because there is a little bit gel medium there when you do mixed media work art journaling sometimes you just dip in your into your ink and you're doing just a bad things to your ink that's what i did okay Oh, how perfect thank you so much ink for this now this is a different paper um, because I'll be checking if it's me or if it's a paper or if it's both that whether it's gonna work better or worse for us okay that's nearly perfect so that's what I w what I will be checking as well today you know that will be that's gonna be something that I'll be checking on 
<sighs> it's so strange to be back after a while. Well, I had a video two days ago for you, which I was talking to you live, thanking you, you know for what, thanking you for being here with me, because we are here, a huge family, 120 over 1,000, is it 120,000 friends on YouTube, can you believe that? This is like massive huge, so I was thanking you, if you haven't seen my chat about that, ah, you may as well have a look, uh, it's pretty special I think, to me anyway. I hope it was special for you too, uh, to to listen to me. Um, so yes, I have been not painting, not doing anything for two weeks nearly. And it's pretty tough on me, I have to say, even chatting to you now after a break. It's like starting all over again. <laughs> it's just so different, you know, when you do it daily, it's much easier when you just having a, had a break, it's different. I'm thinking, what, where should I start? Where should I start? I think I'm gonna bring my camera a little bit closer to you guys. I hope it's sharp enough. Let me fix that because it's important for you to see it properly. Uh, is it sharp? Okay, I think it is. Okay, so I think it would be nice to start off with a snowflake maybe that we didn't do last time. Nothing too complicated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go with my wet, um, my wet brush and try to make a snowflake kind of design so first I'm just doing a simple kitty star you know a kitty star now again instead of concentrating guys on being so perfect and so amazingly amazing tr concentrate on trying your your uh, ideas on on tr trying to con try to concentrate on just giving it give it a chance uh, rather than thinking it has to be perfect. No, we are here to give you a belief that you can actually do things beautiful, you really can paint, you really should try, you really could be good at it, but you have to try. So, Okay, I have this wet, I wonder if you can see it more or less. Oh, you can like now, so something like that, something like that. Maybe I'm gonna even go with the smaller lines here kind of. In the meantime it's drying so I'm not too sure what I should do. <laughs> should I be worried that it's drying or should I be just going with it and that's it. Whatever will be painted it will be painted. Okay. I think so. What I will do now uh, I'm gonna just grab some uh, blue maybe from here and add it here maybe. Oh, it's nice. And I will try to just <clears throat> hopefully add pigment to that snowflake and hopefully this will spread nicely. Since we have water everywhere, I'm trying to fill fill in all all of those um all of those oops Maybe we just need a little more water then? I think so, we can just grab a little water and as well try to use the ink, the pigment that is already there. So it will be nice and delicate, you know, not really concentrating on having this extremely perfect. No, nice and delicate I think would be super. I have four waters and I cannot my make up my I cannot make up my mind <laughs> which colors color I should use. So as you can see, it's nice and it's not difficult uh, sort of design. Am I right? Come on, you have to you have to say it. So it's like trying to paint in that water kind of thing, and I think it's so nice, so so nice. And it's of course. Like my experience in watercolors, it's not big. I would say it's pretty small. <laughs> it's actually very small. So uh, if you will feel like, you know, it's not going as you wish, that's okay. Maybe your second go will be better. You know, I'm gonna grab a chair and I'm gonna sit down. <clears throat> I think I feel I need to sit down a little bit. So, um, so you know, just have it, have a try first and 
then second go and I'm sure it will work at some point it, it just will I'm adding a darker pigment now wonder what will happen and I'm adding more and more and more and more so I just changed what I've said a few minutes ago that it's gonna be nice and bright but you know what why not to just see what will happen where this will take me where this will take me take us actually because we are together in it and yeah look it looks really really nice and as you can tell it's not much of a technique there but that's okay that's okay I will uh, maybe add just a nicer kind of finish to my snowflake or bigger finish kind of so yeah I like that I actually love that <laughs> to be honest oh it could be even like this any design you can like really decide for yourself what you like and and make this looking even nicer you can take maybe a smaller brush maybe it will be easier for you to use a smaller brush to play with this oops and my hand is blue <laughs> to play with it. It may be harder for you to watch my work because I'm left-handed. <laughs> so it's possible. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little blue there since everything is more joined here. That's okay. Now, I'm tempted to actually add one more color like white. What would happen? Let me see if I'll just add... I heard somewhere, I'm not sure if I'm correct, but I think I've heard somewhere that making white uh, that white should not be color in watercolors. That's interesting. Oh, look at that now. <gasps> How gorgeous is this? Now, Marta, add more white <laughs> water and white. Um, you don't see it. I'll show you. I have it here, white. So more water and more white. White. Even more white. Oh, it's so beautiful. And... I love that. What about if this moves a little bit here and there? Would that be nice? I think it will be super nice. Let's see. Let's see. Now, of course, you can just go with one color and, and not, you know, not that not that be so so um, busy busy about doing this because no, you can just do your own way. But I think it's nice to to do it. I think when we will add. Uh, afterwards when we will add the gorgeous glitter it will be super stunning I would leave that for now anyway and just to see we can always come back to it because I'm tempted to maybe take a smaller brush like this you know and just kind of try to make this more delicate since it's a, a nice snowflake and just a little bit yeah maybe like this will be nice just to I can hear my heavy breathing. <laughs> Sorry for that. I'm not tired, but it's just it is how it is. <laughs> you can look at even smaller like this. So then it's just more having more de more detail, more more kind of interest in your snowflake. I love it. I think it's gorgeous and it's very simple, you must admit. And you don't need special skills to do that, you know. Believe in the skills you have in yourself. It's really enough what you have there. Okay, I'm going to leave it to dry at that and I'm going to move on to the card number two. Mm, idea number two and that will be... Hmm, I wonder if you can actually guess <laughs> what, what's that going to be. Let me just grab some more water and... Idea number two is pretty simple and super cute, I think. Very cute, actually. Uh -huh. You can definitely do this with your kids or on your own. So, however you feel like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can you guess? It looks pretty obvious now. <laughs> I think. I think it does look pretty obvious, which is so nice and cute. 
Yes, it's gonna be a cute Rudolf. <laughs> Rudolf reindeer. I think we can just make him looking super cute. Super, super cute and as I said, I think it would be nice to just do this with your kiddos. Now when we need the nose, but we need as well, I think it has to be pretty much uh, dry here, so we have to wait for it to dry. I think it would be so nice to make him like little sort of um, what you call that um, uh, a chicks that kind of thing. You know that it would be just nice. <laughs> Something super cute, simple, and nice and fun to be done with your kids and yourself you will see how easy this will be I'm gonna uh, I should leave it to dry but I'm gonna dry this very quickly the middle part only where I can do uh, nose because what's the most important with Rudolf is his nose isn't it <laughs> His massive, massive nose. So I will make his nose. No, don't, don't, don't make this run. My paint, please stay. <laughs> no, I should dry that better before <laughs> before I attempt it. I'm gonna. That's okay. Look, fixed, fixed. Pretty much. <laughs> so I should wait for this to dry, isn't it, before I did anything? But that's okay. Try it again. Try it again. A little bit more pigment. That's so cute. You are so cute, my Rudolph. You are awesome. Okay, now this should be dry really before I attempt some <laughs> something else. Um, but I'm gonna just grab maybe my brush just to finish off here and there. That's okay. And I'm gonna come back to you in a second when when this is dry. Now everything is pretty much dry, and I think it would be so cute if I can just outline this. But you know what? really be very much not not precise at all just seriously look just go around it with like simple lines like this it's okay however it will work for you perfect now little eyes <laughs> and the anklers anklers I think <laughs> come on you have to say it's cute it is cute um, we can you know uh, leave it at that completely finish at that you can add something else whatever kind of speaks to you if there is anything else you can come back to I, I'm afraid to actually <laughs> make that worse because I think it's cute simply cute as it is I think we should uh, is it sharp enough guys tell me it is it's nothing worse to record a video and it's not sharp enough. I think it is. I, I think it's time for the card number three. We will come back to this maybe with oh, some um, some white addition. I think we could do some. This 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 eye is bigger. <laughs> uh, some white addition maybe some glitter. I don't know. We will do something. So card. I think making a holly would be really really nice. Now I'm gonna use a very delicate. A uh, very delicate little uh, brush with a tip, so I can I can sh kind of like uh, draw much easier with it. And if you feel like you wish to use a pencil, a real pencil, absolutely do that. If this is easier for you, if that's how uh, you just me feel more comfortable, please do so. Use uh, use your pencil. I'm just sketching a little bit with my um, can you see you can with my brush and 
again I'm not gonna be extremely precise here I am just gonna be really trying to um, trying to play with the color a little bit and trying to kind of uh, fill in now those lines and maybe grab some other colors from here and just to see what's where this will takes <laughs> takes me so I'm just filling the color filling the lines here and there and so I'm starting with the green as you can tell and I'm gonna leave as the last the red addition the 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 fruit thing I'm gonna leave that now I think I'm gonna spray some water in those greens here and hope for adding them nicely to to my uh, drawing maybe painting mm -hmm. something like that nothing then uh, we will uh, we will finish off everything nicely with um, with the pen so I'll show you how I'm doing it and you can just follow that <clears throat> I like that I really do like that I'm gonna sit down again <laughs> I keep on forgetting sitting and you know why as well I think the baby is very tall because it's when I sit it's kicking me madly hurtfully actually so I wonder if it's because what it's just when I'm sitting no no it's kicking all the time but when I'm sitting it's like crazy so uh, it's really really <laughs> really like intense and especially when I'm sitting so I'm thinking that maybe it's not enough space there for her or him well it should be her <laughs> but uh, we spoke with a friend who was told it's a girl and she had a boy so we kind of now actually started to think you know what let's not <laughs> let's not trying to uh, get used to the idea that it's a girl maybe it's not gonna be a girl so yeah I'm adding a little darker on the edges as you can see and I'm leaving this part here empty -ish. and I'm adding I'm just doing three uh, three kind of leafy things hoping that this will be nice and enough for it which I think it will be since it's gonna be it's must it's sim meant to be simple thing I'm gonna dry that now and I'm gonna come back to you okay so holly is dry the greeny thing is dry and we need some red I guess and mm -hmm. so uh... <laughs> oh that's so nice no more pigment why not why not? Everything will look different when we outline this and it's gonna be just so pretty. Prettier than now. Mm -hmm. That's cute. That's cute. I'm gonna try to add more pigment to the moments where it's green there so it's gonna be darker. And mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's enough. I'm not gonna add any more since it's meant to be simple. So let's dry that. Okay, so let's try to try to outline this. And again, I am really not precise. Quite opposite. I'm trying to be freehand. Just go with it. Mhm. Mm And same for our fruits, our holly. <laughs> I think when you s stop concentrating on how precise this should be, it's just much easier than guys. You know. Can you tell? Simple. Simple. And even if your painting was not perfect now, it seems to be very much perfect because... <laughs> it just looks so much better. I'm adding, I don't know, I'm adding some black dots. Why is that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but we definitely need some sort of uh, white, yeah, kind of like this, don't you think? I think we do. 
we don't need that I like that I really do love it if you feel like you wish to add maybe a little bit of white on the green as well itself perfect do so although mine one it's not that easy to see but that's okay now maybe I add a little yeah I love it look how simple come on simple but yet so very pretty achievable let's move on to the next card <laughs> card will be a little bit more advanced can I say that advanced well at least we will try and we will need a stamping to be in a different position because I think it will be kind of in the middle well yeah in the middle ish <laughs> I'm gonna try anyway somewhere there oh, perfect and we will need maybe something like that and actually yeah a pencil if I can find it where is my <laughs> million number of pencils I have it okay so I am trying to look in the middle kind of well more or less in the middle guys and trying to now have a little oops circle around so that way I can do my red red now we're gonna be laughing but yeah red and yeah let's <laughs> paint um, we will need some green maybe how about green and <clears throat> maybe different green as well mm -hmm. what about here this is some purple um, what about this this one maybe this could be my other green oh yeah okay I like that mm -hmm. I like that very much indeed what about here a different sort of green um, I, I do remember how to say now C uh, sequence is it sequence thank you for your suggestions to improve my <laughs> <laughs> pronunciation of of them things of the sequins C of them things sequins Sequ no C quins yeah C and queen I think <laughs> anyway I'm gonna try to just now be very simple in my painting and I'll show you how simple really simple I mean look really simple I'm just grabbing my watercolors and oops that didn't work the best now I'm gonna get rid of this line here because it's too long and I don't like it there and it's no. I wish you to see how I'm holding a brush and how I am trying to make this very so let me show you on the piece of paper maybe the pressing can you see so hold push uh, no drag down drag down drag down drag down drag <laughs> Uh, yeah <laughs> it may not work at the first time because it's okay if it won't uh, because I'm learning as well with you right now so it's okay if things won't be perfect but this is just a kind of basic rule maybe that the way I see it I think we need a little more <clears throat> paint here and there here and there <clears throat> let's see if it's easier how it's easier for me yeah something like that <laughs> I think my tester tester was my I think my tester was better than the actual card but look it's just for you to see it I, I wish you to get the idea and not be stressed over what you see now step number two I love it by the way I love it by the way 
very much. Step number two, we could maybe grab a smaller, uh, do a smaller kind of, um, smaller leaves. I don't know, just let's see, because this is pretty much dry, as you could see. I have been adding more, painting more with the dirty colored water than the pigment itself. So I'm gonna maybe <clears throat> just try to add some extra little little leaf leafy things in in places maybe <clears throat> just a little bit okay I love that okay now time to maybe do some sort of holly kind of thing <laughs> Um, at least we will try. So I'm trying to make some red holly or maybe flowers we do instead of holly. Maybe flowers actually, like uh, like those queen king how? I can't remember the name of it. But anyway, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. No. <clears throat> Maybe I will try to do a little kind of something like that. So I'm trying to make maybe kind of like a rosy thing. I don't know, just touches of paint on my on of my brush and on my and on my red on my paper. You see, nothing complicated. Look, a little line around, 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 around. That's okay. I love it. One more. A little paint, a little there. Maybe around there, around there, and there. And maybe there. Oh, it, it, mat it, it joined. That's okay. I don't mind. Okay. You know what? This look pretty nice. <laughs> and... Yeah, I left some spaces without knowing really that I'd be filling that. I thought I'd be filling with the dots maybe of holly, not the bigger flowers. So when you're doing that, have a have a think of how big the holes could be for for you, big or small. This one didn't really do the job, but that's okay. Try to fix it. Do it again. I love it. I'm gonna leave it. I'm afraid to destroy it. Wow. That's so pretty. Don't you think? That is so pretty actually. Wow. We need this to dry and I would love to do a little bit of doodling on that and I will. My little card is dry and have a look. It's pretty awesome. Pretty pretty. <laughs> and I think I would love to because the, the, the Merry Christmas is pretty dark and you know it's kind of it will be nice I think addition if I can doodle a little bit and just have the dark of doodle in here and that way I can kind of have a joint feeling for uh, the writing the title and the red itself I think I'm saying red wrong red I think it's red I'm gonna guess it's that if not, I'm sure you're gonna uh, help me how to be better in my spelling. So, see queens. Haha. <laughs> Many of you have said, Marta, I, it's so funny the way you said it. I could not guess what you're actually talking about. <laughs> and because the videos were recorded after a while and I, if, with the bad pronunciation all the time, uh, you were probably thinking, Jeannie, I've already told her once how to say it and she's repeating herself. I was because I was, <laughs> because I was, um, because I was just having this recorded earlier. But anyway, I think a little doodle around the, around the flowers kind of would be nice as well. Don't you think? I think so. And I absolutely adore this card. I'm very proud actually. Because watercolors is my new love, well, since months, but you probably learn all your life 
about about it about things in general so I'm really pleased how it, this turned out it's a very cute and pretty card I don't think it's difficult and I swear I haven't done that before I'm doing it live with you to show you that it's either possible or not possible so I'm calling this very much possible to be done by everyone so I, I think it's super cute super super pretty super cute um, we could I suppose maybe add I just have this thing that could be nice we could add like little you know like little delicate dots let's say of red which I think could lift a little bit the whole design look just look sometimes a little detail can make such a difference and I think in this case that's kind of what we have look half is with the little flat with the little dots half is not and I think this half with the dots is just slight and just little details often helps of course don't go overboard with things just think for what you're doing don't don't uh, make too much of things and you know be gentle in your choices but at the same time don't be afraid to try guys Pre please don't be afraid to try now since we had the red ones it would be probably pretty similar and nice to have the green try and I'm gonna do that <laughs> why not since we have the red one we may as well just add the green here and there I am so proud of myself in with this card I think it's stunning and actually you have used the ideas for the cards uh, for the with the previous video I'm gonna link that video for you as, as well of course both of them uh, you have used them painted your cards shared it with me I love them I really do thank you so much for using my I maybe not so much my ideas but that the the video was inspirational I love that fact that it you were inspired to try so I hope this new video will be inspirational as well since many of you tried and you do you do see and you do find that it's a nice easy cheap way and fast as well of doing cards so okay I think I'm gonna call it done because I'm afraid I'm gonna destroy it and if you feel like you wish to add maybe I don't know like a touches of white here and there you may as well do so touches of white on the flower maybe absolutely or some splashes whatever works for you I'm gonna call it done and I'm gonna be moving to the next card <laughs> I have this silly idea for a card so what I'm gonna do is now uh, I'm gonna just do the um, watery watery lines basically that's it and hoping that this will be <laughs> that this will be nice for watercolor wet on wet technique is it <laughs> I am learning I'm trying so basically this is my intention so I have this wet I hope you can see I think you can because my water <laughs> is not transparent that much so I think you can easily see this so and I wetten my paints here a lot so I'm gonna add and I want the colors that are so completely so completely oh it doesn't want to move much I don't like that oh it's moving now that's okay I wish the colors to be crazy so like now <laughs> like now when we have totally not so uh, Christmassy colors which is like purple and pink I guess and yeah look you can just play like this <laughs> orange maybe I like that I love that actually I think I wish this to be lower here this this don't be precise and Marta is trying to be precise now this is just me <laughs> I think maybe yellow would be such a perfect addition to that uh, orangey here no oh. so something like that simple isn't it very simple indeed nothing all my beautiful <laughs> jars are so dirty so 
as you can see no I don't like that orange oops <laughs> that's okay I am I'm tempted to try and do experiment and I'll show you what sort I am so tempted now to do something crazy actually this orange is not really working for me but that's okay I'm tempted to tilt it and to see what will happen or what if we actually go down with it will this kind of create something interesting or what if I take a, a straw and blow because it's wet could be nice I'm gonna actually chance it I'm gonna grab a straw okay I have it let's see <laughs> outside from myself I adore it now. I need <laughs> two seconds. I need more water there. I love it. Look. I love it. Ah. I love it. I love it. Okay. Ah, that is so gorgeous. Class. Come on, can you see what I see? Because I know you can, I know you, I know you now. I love it from not so attractive looking Christmas tree and silly idea to even more silly idea to have this artistic looking beautiful Christmas tree. I love that, oh, so happy. Another fun idea is to do similar card to what we've done so far which was a uh, kind of this card but maybe we are able to do it different this time I don't know maybe 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 <laughs> um, I'm gonna try anyway to do this a little different than I've done this time I'm gonna just do oh, like that quickly could you could you see <laughs> so I'm just really really doing the line here and quickly oh, there we go maybe that maybe not the best oh, fix that super okay one more and maybe somewhere there I think I have not enough pigment that's okay and so it's different the way I did the previous card that I showed you a second ago it's different but you know similar idea similar idea oh what happened here I didn't see this no 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 go away well we have to make this tree bigger so <laughs> That's okay. Okay. I'm going to dry that. Okay. Stretch. <laughs> Stretch. And we need a, we need a little bit darker color this time. Um which one maybe from this palette something. Yeah. This would be nice, I think pretty pretty nice mm -hmm. from this palette so what I'm gonna do is I will basically do same thing but uh, you know what yeah well yeah <laughs> I don't know in a smaller way so way so I'm gonna just go here with the line and try to maybe yeah super stay in front of uh, in front of this um, those those trees <laughs> and I'm gonna do similar thing here quite similar and go 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 something like that so I love that wow you know I 
I love the fact that sometimes really a pure accident nearly could be interesting. Um, I'm gonna make this darker, much darker, as you can tell, to make the smaller trees. Um, but I'm gonna use a smaller brush because I'm afraid that my brush is too big. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm gonna use a smaller brush basically. Uh huh. No, I will dry in between. You better do. Where's my green? I nearly lost my green now. That's okay. So I'm just, oops, I will try to basically, um, two seconds because now I mixed up. I wish this to be dark. Oh, I can use this one, silly me. So I'm gonna just <clears throat> try to go here and quickly go, 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 go. Okay, super. And maybe here, like, go, go, go. Dark. Uh huh. Is it enough? Or is it one more in the middle, some, somewhere? Somewhere there. Maybe one more in the middle, kind of. That could be disaster, but ugh, I'm tempted, so. It should be smaller, and it's not. It's okay. I love that. Okay. <laughs> that is so cute indeed. That is so cute. Let's dry our Christmas trees. This is dry and it's stunning. I really love it. And have a look. It's completely different. Well, it's very similar but completely different at the same time to this one. Can you see? Um, yeah, it's just a different technique I have used. Is it blurry? I hope it's not. A different technique. You can you can tell easily. Uh, I will link this video for you. I love this one. This is much easier, probably faster. You have to go go go. So the lines, like I have the lines here, which you have. We have lost the lines here, which I kind of wanted to achieve. I think I don't know what I wanted to achieve. Sometimes <laughs> I just do it without thinking. Anyway, I think it would be nice to add some splashes. Just I don't know. I have the idea of splashes in this card. So that's it. We have it. I think I think I think that's it. Okay. And I also have an idea that it would be so super cutely nice to add I'm gonna clean that to add some either shine or white splashes or or I don't know. Or I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Let me grab some let me grab this. Um, this is the white because I I I think that I wish for some sort of snow snow effect, but no, it doesn't work as I would imagine. But that's okay. A snow effect. Maybe I can use. Let me see. Um, I've tried to use it on some other project. I remember those those are from Pontura Pontura Paint, and they are 3D paint white and. And I have this whitish gold, whitish silver, whitish goldish, whitish goldish, whatever. And I have this urge to make some snow. Actually, I could make snow or I could just look, just try to. Well, I could make a snow, but I, oops, I could also try to do some sort of uh, 3D snow on the cards itself, on the trees itself, I think that we have some snow in here again if this is not your cup of tea that's okay it's just my kind of feeling that I wanted this to be a little different so this is a nice uh, nice way maybe to do it slightly different and probably it would be super cute to now sprinkle that with um, a glitter if I can find my fine glitter I have it okay fine glitter and and I have that I think this could be pretty nice so we shall see oh that's it so yeah it is nice <laughs> sometimes you have to trust me guys well everyone f feels different but I like that 3d 
snowish effect with the glitter. It's nice, it's interesting. That's when you buy cards um, in the shop, oftentimes they have this kind of 3D touches. Maybe they, they look like little poopoos now, but that's okay. Look, it's only a card. Let's move on. Is there any other idea that I have? I hope so. Before I move on to the next card, I thought, look what I could do. To make this looking more natural, I can just try to kind of destroy the poopy look and just try to stick it with my brush. Now I'm using watercolor brush, that's probably not the best thing to, to be done, but I, I just grabbed what I had, didn't think about it because it's a fine tip. So I'm just trying to, from the poopoo's kind of bloppy looking thing, I'm trying to kind of have a touch of this white in in places and I think it's it's doing a much better job. Can you can you agree? So look, sometimes again, you have to try the product. You may not love it from the first moment, but you may love afterwards and maybe change it and maybe think for another option different way I think it's super pretty now now I'm really happy with it because I was like okay it's only a card as I finished the chat but I, I don't like finishing when thinking that I could do something more so now when this is done really I hope my brush will be fine I could go back with my can you see it's just more like a snow now not not like a poop I can go back with my um, with my and uh, with my with my with my with my glitter thank you <laughs> and there we go that's it our okay is it shiny for you in the camera I hope it is anyway let's move on let's move on I'm trying to do the backing now I'm not sure if I share one more idea I'll see but for now look originally bought how uneven is that? Come on. That's what I don't like about buying ready-made bases because, come on, you pay for it, it should be even. So, that's okay. That's okay. Um, so, I'm trying to add my, my bases to my cards, to my paintings. I, I'm, I'm looking at them now and I love them so much so much actually really proud of them <laughs> such a cute reindeer isn't it such a cute, Rud cr cute Rudolph so I think that it would be nice to kind of add some sparkle to it or some 3d something uh, just to oh sorry <laughs> okay last one I love how they present I think I'm the least happy with the blue one but hold your horses it could be the nicest if we add some sparkle to it and some something so I'm not saying anything yet because we could be so wrong I have had that before where I thought that hmm, oh, I don't like that that much and then I changed it added something and it looked completely completely different so yes okay um, I don't think it's fully dry so that's why I'm so careful with this one <laughs> with my snow poopy snow Okay, so this one is super cute, super pretty, and it's finished, I call it. So I'm going to put it there. Now, uh, definitely we need to do something about, about the snowflake. We need some sparkles, for sure. Sparkles and probably some sort of... Uh, what about if we... Oh, I have this blue. How is this? But this is very transparent, I'm guessing. Very much where some trial... Something, something. I think this would... Oh! Do you know what? It could be nice. So what I will do, I will think for using this. I should have some more blue. Okay, I found something different. This is Viva Pearl and Pen Pastel Blue. But anyway, it's giving a 3D. Uh, oopsie. 3D. Look. 3D. Look to it. So I'm going to use that, I think. I think I wish for a glitter to be there anyway. Um, now, if you be asking me about those things which we did before, it's Dovecraft, it's Ranger, it's 
uh, what else? Uh, Nuvo drops. So there are several. If you go for liquid pearls, sort of things, you will find many of those. Now we have this nice 3D now. I like that. I really love that. Definitely better than it was. And if we add sparkle, I'm guessing it will be even much nicer. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Uh, on top of this, actually. I hope this will work. Let me just. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have glitter all over there. That's okay. Now, not too much because I don't want to lose my shape of the of this of the uh, pearly uh, droppy thing of the pearl. So if it's gonna be too heavy, uh, too much, I, I you know, just a little will be enough. Just just in, just about. <laughs> okay. Oops. That's it. Ah, that's it, Marta. Leave it. <laughs> and there we go. How is that? Nah, there we go. Super pretty, isn't it? Changed completely and the added shine and the 3D. So that's very nice, pretty. I'm gonna put it on the side again. What about our Rudolph? Of course he needs some sort of uh, shine and maybe some sort of on the nose, some sort of white thing, maybe here as well, just touches, which is nice, that's okay, and I think I'm just gonna go, if this will work, because, <clears throat> because of course it may not, since, <laughs> since everything is drying on me, I'm gonna just hope that Where's some brush? Oh, I have it. I'm gonna hope that... Now, I wonder where's my red glitter. Now, I wish to add some glitter like on the Rudolph itself, like here, let's say, gently, on his nose red and on his body maybe transparent one, so something like that. Let me show you. Something like that. So on his on his uh, ears, on his uh, here, <laughs> on his here, on his here, and there, just a transparent glitter, and the red one I wish to add as well, which I'm gonna show you in two seconds. I'm sure it's somewhere here <laughs> on my desk, among hundred other things. It must be here. Oh yeah, I have it. I knew it. And then some red on the nose itself. Which I think it's super cute. Oh, welcome! Look, isn't it just so cute? So super loving it. Car number three is done. I would imagine doing literally exactly the same. I'm gonna just uh, spread some glue on the side and just hope for adding a little glue here and there, here and there, on my red flowers in places, really randomly, I'm not concentrating, and in just like really touches here, okay? Let's see how this is gonna be. Oh my, I love that. So watercolors, but yet with addition of glitter. Look, I love that. Super cute. And I don't think I want to add any more glitter, like as in different color. No, I'm gonna stick with this. Same for this one. I think this will be just as fine with the red here, I believe. <sighs> Look, I hope you can see the shine because it's really like really nice and standing out and it's super pretty. One more card is this one. Mm -hmm. That's interesting, how to actually, what to actually do with this one I wonder. Any ideas? <clears throat> I probably would just go for a transparent glitter in places, like literally in, in here, just touches and that's it. That's probably what I would can you see? You can suggest. So nothing too fancy. Just a simple glitter. 
not the colored one because the card itself is colored no mm -hmm. and my other thing is taken that's okay <clears throat> I'm gonna grab this and shake off the excess oh that's it and it's super cute and pretty okay let me just put that in the water and show you all the cards together because they are really 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 pretty I'm happy and proud and yeah I think you will love them when you see them together <clears throat> my favorite of course I have my favorite those two no doubt about it I love the different way of creating the green one again it's nice and interesting to see is it six I thought it was seven Oh, is it six? It's six. <laughs> I thought it was seven. That's okay. Uh, those are my two most favorites. Super cute. I love the new idea of doing uh, this card slightly different to the <clears throat> first go, the original one. I like that. Faster and simpler. But I love them all. The least is probably this one. Maybe it could be done differently and better. I don't know. Uh, this is fun and cute. I will definitely try to do it again. I'm sure I will. Uh, do a Christmas tree like that maybe in the normal green colors I'll see I love that what I see oh wow thank you so much guys I hope you did grab your watercolors I really do hope you you will try uh, to make some cards with me because this is simple and really easy for everyone not so costly as you can tell all you need is paper water some watercolors uh, maybe glitter that's it so Thank you so much, as always. A pleasure to be here. And um, once more, thank you so much for all the best wishes that you're sending my way. And congratulations on the uh, channel, on my reward, award, reward <laughs> that I have received. And I can link that. Well, it's a video before this one, so you can have a look. I may link that as well for you. Thank you so much. I, I didn't read the comments yet. Well, I was reading it until it just blow out the system and I could not read anymore because it was just <laughs> so many on my Facebook and Instagram as well so thank you so much much appreciated uh, yes tag me on your projects please 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 tag me if you make any cards or the previous video which I show you as well all the playlist will be maybe Christmas playlist will be as well so you will see thank you so much I'm gonna wrap up with that for sure I'm gonna send you hugs and kisses and I'll be back soon very soon because I missed you so maybe even tomorrow <laughs> bye oh yes and please please do share that video if you feel like it's inspirational and fun share it with your friends uh, so they can make their own cards as well thank you bye love you loads bye bye bye